The Indie Storm has hit Nintendo Switch with tons of thunder and lightning, but there's a couple games that are missing. After a number of Nindies Directs, we have a few titles that we wonder where are they and when are they coming, and today we're giving you our top five missing games on Nintendo Switch. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Gabe is here and we're counting down the games that we don't know where they are or they haven't been heard from in a while. We dug through, found some updates, and we're here to tell you where these missing games are and hopefully maybe a little bit of info of when they're coming. Gabe is going to kick things off with one that we really were excited for way back at the Switch launch. Pocket Rumble, and I am almost tempted to just go play this thing on Steam. Uh, with <laughs> with us like looking into uh, these games for today and the little bit of research that we've done, I saw that the game's available on Steam. I'm like, okay, I really kind of wanted to play Pocket Rumble on Switch, but it's out there. I want to play it. But to uh, let's just go check on what Chucklefish has been saying over on their blog. They say, so we said that Pocket Rumble would be out in March and then in spring, and we're cl- uh, quickly closing in on the end of summer, and Pocket Rumble is still not out. We're really sorry about that. Then they go on to explain that, that basically they demoed the game at several events, and they're having performance issues, and it's not working like quite well. And they want to make sure that it's fully on par, because it is a fighting game, so performance issues in, in fighting games are kind of not for the best, and they're right. saying that they're going to have an update soon. They say, quote, we're still working with the team to address some of these problems, so again, I don't want to give you a release date until we're absolutely sure, but I think we'll have good news for you soon. That maybe lets me know that maybe it's still this year, but as we get into holiday, I feel like smaller games like this shouldn't release just because it's so crowded. So I don't know if maybe they're going to want to wait until early next year, but Pocket Rumble has definitely gone missing. And, you know, it is mainly because of performance issues. It didn't demo well. And uh, it's a reasonable excuse, I would say. I don't want like a gimped game. Well, yeah. And Chucklefish is busy, busy, busy. You know, they just got Stardew Valley out the door and that has been, you know, occupying a lot of Switch owners' times. We know that they're working on on this one, Pocket Rumble. We know that they're working on another game later down the list. But yeah, it, it's it's interesting because this was one that was supposed to kind of fill the launch window gap and now what happened? And I don't know, like, yes, like you said, performance issues need to be really fine-tuned for a fighting game, especially a simplistic fighting game, but you'd think that they would get this nailed down by then, so hopefully they can soon, and like you said, hopefully it can come out. I think a December release would still be nice, you know, a bunch of new Switch owners around the holidays, and people, you know, Jones in for some from new stuff after Mario and uh, Xenoblade, so that is the first. The second is Flipping Death. Uh, this game looks super cool. It's from Zoink Games, and it has just a really insane art style and a really interesting idea. It was also shown off at the first Nindies Direct, and gone since then. Um, I dug through their Twitter, Zoink Games, to try and find some uh, word. There wasn't much official word in the form of a press release or anything like that, sort of uh, in the same vein as Chucklefish, but they did reply to some people on Twitter. Um, and the first reply came on September 29th. Uh, they were talking about Flipping Death, and uh, Twitter user named Leanne Mustafa said, are you still targeting 2017 or will it have to be delayed in 2018? And Zoink Games said the release will happen in 2018 after uh, Fey is out. Now, they're also working on this game, F-E, uh, Fey, Fi, Fi, Fo, Fum. It kind of looks a little bit like an Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh, it's an EA Originals. It's coming to Switch. Uh, but they say, we realized we needed some more time to make Flipping Death great. Sorry for the wait. So that was September 29th. Then on October 5th, in the most recent update, someone just said, uh, release Flipping Death. And Zoink Games says, is it okay if it's not the whole game and still buggy wink face? So they're clearly still working on this. Um, It seems like Faye kind of took priority. And maybe since that is a a, a multi-platform title, they're trying to nail that. And since there is the partnership with EA Originals. um, But Zoink Games does also say that regarding Flipping Death, we'd like to release on multiple platforms day one which maybe that also contributes to this. If there was a little bit of a switch up in terms of initially it seemed like maybe it was going to hit Switch first and now they're looking to maybe do multiple platforms. So this one is definitely a ways out. Um, So you're going to have to wait until at least Q1 and maybe even beyond for Flipping Death. Yeah, um, it it does say Q1 on the Nintendo.com like eShop uh, website. But this was one that I was super excited for with the original Nindies presentation. I I thought that the art style and just the aesthetic of it was just like really unique. So uh, it's a bummer that it's not coming um, anytime soon, it seems like. But, you know, hopefully when it does come out, 
it, it, it comes out the right way and, and it's not like all buggy like they're currently saying. Right. Well, and, and we will get another game from Zoink uh, before that, so I guess that's a little bit of a of a saving grace there, or a little bit of a of a you know throwing us a bone. And, and who knows, Fake could turn out to be fantastic if it does sort of give us that Ori in the Blind Forest type vibe. That would be really really cool. Yeah, for sure. Um, after that though, we get to possibly the most anticipated of all of these games, War Groove, also originally. Uh, announced in the original Nindy's presentation. And we do know that the game has since been delayed. Um, they mm-hmm. have uh, multiple blog updates. This is one thing with this game that Chuck, uh, Chucklefish, um, you know, going back to them, they are doing a good job updating with, with the game now. Uh, it is coming to multiple platforms, and uh, the game is a little bigger than I, I guess they originally thought. Uh, they go on to say, since we announced Wargroove, the reception has been so positive and encouraging, and encouraging. The game won't be out until next year, but in the meantime, we're posting developer updates on the blog and doing the occasional gameplay stream. Uh, we've been posting about balancing units, biomes, and commanders. So I think that this game also just took a little too long. And uh, like you said, Chucklefish had a lot going on. They still had to put mm. out Stardew Valley, and that recently made its way out. So hopefully uh, Wargroove uh, is next up. But yeah, delayed until sometime in 2018. Not great because this is one that people were really, really excited uh, for. It, it was like an Advanced Wars like spiritual successor. Um, but maybe the fact that it's coming to like multiple platforms um, like Flipping Death, that might have something to do with it. They did an AMA uh, recently uh, as well for mm-hmm. for this game and you know they're asked about it, like what's happening and uh you know they say that they don't have a real deadline and they don't want to give themselves one but they're you know they're trying their hardest to get the game out yeah and it does seem like it's expanded um gameplay wise since its inception and it looks like it's going to be pretty pretty big like a pretty sizable you know, title, you know, Chucklefish has just like a, a wide range pocket rumble about as simplistic as you can get. Stardew Valley, a game that people dump, you know, 100 hours into. And Wargroove hopefully can sit somewhere in the middle, you know, and, and be something that does fill that Advance Wars uh, void. I do want to point out that this delay does benefit another upcoming indie called um, Tiny Metal, which is coming this fall. And it is a similar Advance Wars style. It is going for more of a 3D approach as opposed to Wargroove being a very stylized uh, 2D approach. Um, but this was shown off in the recent uh, Nindies, and it supposedly has an 8-10 to 10 hour campaign. Um, it was initially targeted for October, so we'll see if it still ends up hitting somewhere near the end of the month um, or if it you know, drops to November, but that game also looks pretty cool um, and definitely benefits from Wargroove's uh, delay. Yeah, and the last thing I'll say about the Wargroove thing is uh, they have, like, a level editor, a campaign editor, and they've showed mm-hmm. it off on PC, and uh, during the AMA, they asked them, like, hey, Switch, campaign editor, yeah? Um, and they seem, like, pretty positive. They're like, yeah, the, the editor works the exact same way on the Switch. Um, a lot of very careful UI work has been done to, to make sure that it works well on the Switch, and uh, they're going to try to implement... Uh, you know, uh, touch controls and all of this. So I think they're taking the extra time to make sure that it's like super, super awesome on switch. Uh, you know, it's just unfortunate that now we have to wait. Right. All right. Next up we have ukulele. Now this was one that, uh, people were pretty pumped for on switch, especially when they found out that Mario Odyssey was not coming until the end of the year. People were very high on ukulele. Now ukulele probably didn't review, uh, as well as maybe some people were expecting. Um, the original game, uh, came out on, in April, April 11th to be exact, and we still have no date for the Switch version. Uh, the most recent update comes on September 25th, where they said, quote, The Platonic team has been working tirelessly to bring ukulele to Nintendo Switch, and we're very nearly there, we promise. However, we've encountered some final technical hurdles and had been waiting for the arrival of Unity 5.6 in order to fix them. Although this has now been released, it has unfortunately introduced other issues, which we are working with Unity to resolve before we can submit to Nintendo and lock in our release timeline. We understand the frustration that it's taken so long to get the game in your hands, but we hope that you understand that we're working as fast as we can and want the game to perform as well as it possibly can on Switch. Once these remaining issues are resolved, we hope to finally be able to commit to and share a launch date. Thanks as ever for your patience, and please bear with us. We are getting there. That was, uh, you know, two weeks ago, and they have not updated since, but technical problems, again, plaguing this missing Switch game. Will it come out before Mario Odyssey? Will it come out after? I feel like the, now they're in a, a dicey proposition. You know, we just had Hat in Time, which is not on Switch, but a very uh, well-received platformer. Um, that game, pretty darn cool. And with the impending Mario Odyssey, 
I feel like ukulele uh, would be best served to probably wait a while. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, I hate to say this, but it seems like the ship has sailed on any excitement for ukulele. Um, like you mentioned earlier, the game released and, you know, it wasn't met with uh, critical uh, praise in any fashion. And um, mm-hmm. I, I don't know that this is something people are clamoring for anymore. Uh, like you said, I think it missed its window where it could have come out like months ago and it would have been like a good like primer for Mario. But at this mm-hmm. point, being weeks away, you probably want to wait. And I feel like the longer you wait, like the the less it matters, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a bit of a of a catch-22. I mean, they do have a video on their Twitter uh, of the game running on Switch. It looks good. I, I still think it'll be fun for people, another platformer, and more of an old-school platformer. Maybe it can uh, snuggle up next to Mario Odyssey and be sort of like a look to the past, whereas Mario Odyssey is a look to the future. It, it's just tough because a lot of people, I think, that wanted to play it after you know six months of waiting probably have played it. Uh, but they're still pushing for it. Hopefully they can get it out soon. And, you know, it still has a very charming aesthetic and can probably bring some good fun to people at a solid price point whenever it does eventually hit. Yeah. And that brings us to our final uh, game of the day. And it's actually kind of a a merging of two games. So the first is Celeste, uh, which was announced early on. Um, It's from Towerfall creator Matt Makes Games, and it was initially targeted for the Switch's launch window. It looked like a very difficult action platformer, um, but it was quickly delayed back in July to January of 2018. And the reason they gave was that they wanted to really expand the content of the game. They're taking it from 200 to 300 levels to around 500 or 600 levels, and the narrative has gotten a greater focus. The chapters have been expanded, Um, and they realized that releasing the game sooner than January would be a huge mistake. It deserves room to breathe and become everything it can be, and fortunately, we can afford to give it that space. We need to know that we took it as far as we could. The game looks really freaking cool, Um, so you'll have to wait till January 2018 for their new title. Now, there also is their old title that we saw uh, coming to Switch, Towerfall Ascension, a game that I think all of us here at Switch Force really love and we're really excited for to hopefully fill uh, a holiday party vibe alongside Rocket League. But as of August 24th, um, Matt Thorson, the creator, uh, said that Towerfall Ascension is coming after our next game, Celeste. Celeste is slated for a January release. So no chance of getting Towerfall this year. They are focused on Celeste. I mean, it sort of seems like a similar situation to uh, Flipping Death and Fae, where they are focusing on one and going to sort of use that new title as their first and then bring the older title uh, afterwards, even though Flipping Death is, is still a new release, um, they're focusing on Faye, and Matt is focusing on Celeste. So Towerfall, no dice for the holiday season. I guess all of that uh, action will go to Rocket League and and Mario and Xenoblade and all of that, and then you can get your your arrow shooting on hopefully sometime soon after Celeste releases in January. So yeah. that is our list of five missing games. There's definitely more. There's more games that are not the Mindy's <laughs> that have kind of uh, vanished into the background. So if there's any that you are super pumped for and wondering where they are, definitely let us know in the comments. If it's any of these, tell us which one you're most pumped for or most worried about. Let us know all that good stuff. I think for me, of this list, like, Wargroove is what I want. Yeah, and, and just so I don't steal yours, I'm going to go with Flipping Death. I think Flipping Death is going to be really fun when it comes out. But, yeah, I think those two are the ones that stand out to me. Yeah, absolutely. So hopefully all five of these uh, can release with some semblance of success when they eventually hit. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more Switch goodness, and we'll definitely be covering these five once they finally hit. So subscribe and make sure you're ready for that. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. For myself and Gabe, Switch Force out.